Hey guys, um, this is only for a few of you or whoever wants to watch it. Let me get some more light on here. But uh, I hear a lot of guys on YouTube talking about silver this, silver that. And then you see their hands and there's not so much as a shiny silver anything on their hands. But they'll tell you all day long how much they love silver. No, they they love investing. And... Uh, they're invested in silver, so they're they they have a conflict interest. No matter what, um, it's it's about the money for them. I don't care what they say. Okay, it's about the money for them. They might, except for the coin, you know, the coin collector. But even those are few and far between. Um, I deeply respect the minds of many of these silver guys, but in the end, they're silver guys. Now, this isn't by far not the greatest silver collection in the world, okay? But uh, this is also an extremely fine one um, for silver. Um, you know, there's some cheap things in here, like like this little rope necklace. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I needed that to hold this bad baby. And there's nothing cheap about that silver. I don't care about the premium or the spot price. I didn't care about none of that shit when I got that silver. Oh, God, look at that. Look at the deep purple of that amethyst. Real amethyst. Not no glass, not no plastic. And that's some real chunky silver. Um, that little cross there is about uh, two ounces of pure silver all in all. Uh, made up 925, so it's over two ounces, obviously. But, uh, I mean, not huge, but that's two ounces of pure silver that I stacked because I loved silver. Not because I gave a shit what the premium was or the spot price was. Uh, this is Royal Order. I don't know if anyone out there knows what Royal Order is. Um, but if you're straight male from the 80s, you should. Um, she was a penthouse playmate, I believe, in 1979 or 1980. And she was an extremely bright woman and very talented. And... Uh, um, she opened up a Beverly Hills jewelry store uh, named uh, Royal Order. You can look it up on YouTube. I am extremely lucky to own a piece of her work, but I own two pieces of her work because I also own her ruby skull ring. Uh, let me see if I can get a shot. Um, and trust me, if you look up the prices of these guys, not to brag, um, but I am proud to own these pieces. They were accomplishments. And... Uh, Trust me, when you look at them and realize uh, these things cost more than a kilo uh, of pure silver, I truly love silver. Um, sorry about that. I love silver, okay? I don't want to hear some guy say, I love silver. I bought 10 ounces for 15 bucks a piece. Yay, and I'm going to sell them tomorrow for 20. No, you love investing, brother. Silver is just your shiny way of doing it. This is loving silver. So start showing me your love. I'm hoping some of you guys, you know, and I know some of you must have a thing for silver like I do. Real silver. You know, there's my earring. 49 years old and I wear an earring. You know why? Because I love that solid silver earring with that citrine in it. I think it's citrine. I'm old and colorblind. I don't remember. But if anyone else does know what that is, it's a really pretty stone. And I wear it. God damn it. I'm 14 again. Uh, my blue emerald and diamond, uh, that is a synthetic blue emerald. And this is my cheapest silver, but it's pretty high quality. As uh, you can see, but even the way it's made, it's not, There's I don't get junk silver. I don't get junk bullion. <laughs> uh, this is a Star Knight ring. This is number two. I have the card to prove it. Number one, you can go to the Star Knight website and see an actual photo of the actor Colin Farrell wearing number one i own number two that's kind of cool to you guys that like limited coin series there's a limited ring series that's silver and that's chunky that's over an ounce of silver um this side's mine uh this side's my daughter's my 13 year old daughter loves silver more than most you pumpers do out there uh but she's not into it for investing she's into it you know for rubies and shiny and treasure this is treasure this is treasure look at that filigree skull ring how many 13-year-old kids own a huge filigree skull st sterling silver ring? That's beautiful artwork. Uh, 
forgot what this one is, but this is uh, not normal silver. That's 0 0.950 silver. The rest is 925, except for that one that's 95. And this one, that's pure 0.999 silver. Uh, why, I don't know. But uh, there's another ruby. She's got two ruby and silver rings. Uh, she does have this Mexican, uh, we call it taco silver. But in the end, it's 0.925 silver. And, uh, and it's nice. It might not have some kind of designer value added to it. But uh, this does. Right there is roughly four ounces of pure 925 silver. Uh, those are her sterling silver knuckles so that if any of the boys get smart with her when she's older, all she has to do is slip that over her knuckles and give them an act right. And that will get just about anyone acting right. Four ounces of silver will change a dude's tune real quick if daddy's not there to protect her. Um, and yeah, I am that dad to teach his kid to slide that down and pop someone. I am that dad. Uh, not to do it first, but to make sure you are the one that swings last. Uh, you, uh, anyway, this Star Knight ring, just to let you guys know, if any of you have ever dotted an eye here and there, and I'm not one for fighting or hurting anyone, but life throws obstacles at you, and sometimes they're big hairy assholes that need a dotted eye. Uh, this ring leaves a beautiful stamp in it. You think stamping your poured silver is fun? Try stamping an asshole's forehead. That's fun. That ring does it. It leaves a noggin. Pretty noggin, too. Damn. Looking like a nice, fine Roman soldier or whatever the hell that is. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here, talk some shit, show off a little bit of silver. Not bad. Uh, took me about three months to collect this for me and my daughter. Um, and I'm not rich by any means. Not that this would take a rich man to own, but um, trust me, you start going online and looking up the prices of some of this shit, um, you're going to realize this is as valuable as some of those three, 4,000 ounce stacks. And uh, I've got a stack of silver, too. But uh, I love silver. Um, some is for buying, and some is for enjoying. I bet you I don't catch no coronavirus. Not with this shit on. I'm killing all the bacteria. My house is spotless. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, if, if you guys have jewelry, I would love to see it. I really would. I love silver jewelry. And I'm just talking shit mainly. I don't give a shit if you like it or not. I do. I do. My daughter does. And uh, in my opinion, if you really love silver, you, you've got to have something similar. You know, I don't care if they're royal order, but you got you a silver bracelet. You you got something you're wearing with pride. You love the beauty of it. And uh, I think a lot of guys just like talking about it. And I'm not one of them, so I'm going to end this damn video. Have a good night, everybody. God bless and stay safe.